Okay, so I wake up every day at 3 a.m. and I like to go for a jog for like two hours and then I go around the whole neighborhood. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I'm talking about my daily routine. I wake up at 3 a.m. and then um, I like to go for a swim after and then. Who are um, you? She doesn't even know how to swim. What are you trying to tell people? <laughs> My back taking my bra too tight, my hips are shaking from left to right. My back taking my bra too tight, my booty shaking from the left to the right. My oh. Cool. Cool. Um, everybody, this is the kind of cup done speaking. We have awful minic tick. Technical problem on the airplane, turbulence in uh, Netherlands. The plane shake, shake on the plane. It's no problem. We don't want to sit back. We want to sit in front. We like stumble, so be a good chance. 4 p.m. If we need grow, and then we can, uh, then we can. Mom, mom, what do you want? Do you hear it? Man, you Arabs have the weirdest songs. I mean, you're not wrong, but what makes you say that? Well, what was the name of that song you were playing the other day? The one about how Anna's damn knee is so flirty? Nah, alright, you're pushing it. There's no such thing. Uh, there is. It's that one that goes, Anna's damn knee is so flirty, so flirty. Like, what's up with that? Anna's damn knee is so... I hope you're not talking about... People think like I am... Christian or like something because I'm wearing the Christian earrings. No, I am Muslim and I respect all the religions. Yes, I'm not a religion person, but I respect all the religions and I'm okay with anything. So hear me out. Here we go. <laughs> take, a, take a shot of tequila without making a face. Okay. Bismillah. I'm Muslim, so I have to use water, but, um, try glasses. You want us to take off our glasses? What do you think? All right. Everyone's gonna think we're so cool. So cool. So cool. 
You've been systematically programmed to hate Islam, hate Islam, hate Islam. You've been conditioned to blame religion through image cognition. I can make you bark like Pavlov's dog, excuse me. I can make you bow to man-made gods, repeat what you see. Error, error, repeat after me. Fear, terror, fear, terror, terror, extreme. Fear them, fear them, freedom, freedom. American dream, woman in a scarf, bomb. Man with a beard, bomb. Jihad, jihad, Islam, Islam. Islam, the war on terror. Era, era, delete. Brainwash complete. You've been hypnotized. Made to believe that Muslims are not civilized. You don't even realize it, but you have justified genocide. Kill them all. Kill them, kill them all. Savage, savage. Your entire country is collateral damage. The real problem is the national debt. Era, era. Muslims are a national threat. Do me a favor and don't think for yourself. Just pay taxes. I'm having a fucking panic attack right now. I need to calm the fuck down because I'm having a panic attack. Always asking me what I got on. They be like, hey, Brandon, what you got on? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. This, that's black. That's, that's black right there. Okay, I see you. I'm just trying to say. Let them say, I'm a dumb little more. And I'll be too late and say, I'm a you trying to go out and do some Mama, I love it, baby Baby, All right, shocking miracles of the Quran part 2 So the Big Bang Theory suggests That the entire universe expanded from one initial state of high density and temperature About 90 years ago, 90 is when we first even started talking about the Big Bang But 1400 years ago, subhanAllah, we have a miraculous verse, look at this So chapter 21 verse 30 Do the disbelievers not realize that the heavens and the earth were once one mass? Then we split them apart, we as in the royal we So Allah split them apart and we created from water every living thing. Will they not then believe? Not only does it explain the Big Bang Theory, but hey, it just throws in, oh, by the way, every living thing is made up of water. And as we know today, every living organism, from the smallest organism bacteria to the big blue whale, contains water. You don't have to be Muslim to like look at this and be like, wow, that's kind of cool. Like, it's kind of cool how it knew 1400 years ago. It's kind of cool, is it not? This is nothing. There's so much more like and follow. I'm gonna show you guys all of them. How do you say I love you in your native language? Saying I love you in Arabic is very easy and it sounds beautiful. And the way we say it is kol khara. Make sure you say it to all your loved ones. Okay, so we all know Ramadan's coming up. And I always had this one question that no one really answered it correctly. So I'm going to ask you guys. Does brushing my teeth break my fast? Does it? I don't know. Bro, I'm at a wedding and I'm just trying to enjoy my food. But this dude across from me just can't stop staring at me, bro. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Making movies out How to call your mother if you're brown Let's go Mama Mama Mami Amiji Amijan Amu Maji Mai Amma My non-Muslim friend trying on the hijab for the first time It was so windy outside Hijab wanted to fly away She looks so pretty with it on she told me she loved it. MashaAllah. Lachmai, get me my bag. What's that? Is this the right bag? No, it's the one with the flower. the flower. You have to get the one with flower. Is this the right bag? You said flower. No, it's the one with the line. What's wrong with you? You know, listen. But you said flower. It, go. This girl just walking up and down corridor doing the round, round, round. Is it this one? This line? You and you get line. wrong. Where is the one with the gold? I said gold. You said line. Listen. You want to argue with me? I will fight. Is it this one? You said gold. No, gold in a G shape is stupid. I'd never listen. These kids are Europe. Oh my goodness. Is this the right one? So I race you for you to do the screaming. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Loving you is a losing game. <laughs> This is where Muslim Gen Z went wrong. Yesterday I posted a video discussing something Islamic and people are already asking me and nobody questions about Islam. Is this halal? Is this haram? I'm just like you. Having a big platform and access to Google doesn't give anyone the authority to give fatawa and answer questions. 
imagine Imam Malik, the scholar of Medina, he was basically the most knowledgeable person in his time. A man came from abroad, like he traveled to him. He traveled only for the sake of him answering his questions. He came with 40 questions and Imam Malik said to 36 of those questions, I don't know. Imagine Imam Malik saying, I don't know. We should learn to say, I don't know. There is nothing wrong with saying, I don't know. Imam Malik, the most knowledgeable person, do you think he didn't know the answer to those questions? But instead he was humble and he knew the responsibility it takes to answer a question. Please, let's be careful. Yeah, Lily, yeah, Lila, wish, wish.